Hello everybody, I'm Eric. Welcome to another episode of Divers Den Deep Dive. Today I'm going to be telling you about Hippocampus subelongatus, also known as the Western Australian Seahorse or Tiger Snout Seahorse, which comes from the coastline of Australia and inhabits rocky reefs, muddy substrates, and man-made structures. H. subelongatus comes in many variable forms. The colors can range from brown, gray, white, yellow, red, orange, and even purple. Whatever the color, they are well versed at the art of camouflage. This species of seahorse can get quite large. They can grow to a vertical length of 10 inches. In the world of seahorses, that's big. Another unique trait shared by all seahorses is their ability to latch onto corals or rock with the use of their prehensile tail. Every horse needs a hitching post, right? Seahorse reproduction is also fascinating because the male seahorse broods the young in his pouch. When the mating ritual begins, the male and female seahorse engage in synchronized swimming and color changing or flashing. To conclude courtship, the female will insert her ovipositor into the male's brood pouch and deposit a clutch of eggs, usually 200 to 600 eggs. The male fertilizes the eggs inside his pouch and incorporates them into the lining forming a pseudoplacenta. After two to three weeks, the male seahorse goes into labor. Once born, the fledgling baby seahorses are left to fend for themselves. A seahorse's diet consists of tiny and smaller crustaceans like copepods and mice shrimp. Seahorses have a very short digestive tract with no stomach. With that said, seahorses need to be fed several times a day. Brine shrimp are not a good option for a seahorse's diet since their nutritional value is nil. However, newly hatched baby brine shrimp have some nutritional value since they have a yolk reserve to survive their first 12 hours. Live food options include live bear fry, red shrimp, halocaridina rubra, and ghost shrimp, which should be enriched if offered. Thanks for watching today's episode of Divers Den Deep Dive, Hippocampus subelongatus. Until next time, feed, siphon, repeat.